So welcome back to the Gibson guys, still me, Simone. So the second drink I will be making for you today, something which maybe sounds very familiar to you. Uh, it's a twist on a classic Bloody Mary. Uh, what we trying to do in a different way is to... We wanted to bring people to have a different experience. So we were looking for edible glasses. So we found, I would say, a very unusual style of vessel. And uh, as you can see, I'm gonna be using a bread glass, which it's been carved inside and baked in the oven. Why? Because the bread is not gonna absorb the liquid we're gonna we're gonna be pouring inside. So the first step, I'm gonna a little bit extra roast it on the side using my blue torch. So we roast the edges a little bit inside and uh, a little bit here. Fantastic. Perfect. So. Uh, we're gonna serve it again over a single uh, chunk of ice, so eventually the tomato juice won't be uh, extra uh, diluted, but it will be always uh, nice and cold, you know. So uh, we're gonna be using a um, batch of uh, um, different uh, um, veggie juice and tomato juice, plus over 80 and 90 different spices and elements like squiggy, mushroom ketchup, a little bit of se pickled seaweed pesto, and uh, um, as I said, different spices and different style of chilies like Kashmiri chilies, perhaps liquid smoke. So a little bit of tomato juice first, perfect. Then uh, to give the zinginess, the drink a very small touch of to uh, lemon juice. Obviously, because it's a Bloody Mary, we're gonna be using a generous portion of vodka, around 50 ml. Here we go. In this case, I'll use absolute least. We gonna finish to fill up our glass. Fantastic. And obviously a little straw on the side. The garnish of the drink is uh, obviously related to the concept of it. So we're gonna be using a little bit of fresh herbs just to give a little bit of color and obviously different aromas. In this case, I'm gonna be putting a little bit a little bunch of uh, fresh lemon thyme on the top, like this. Perfect. Then mix of different vegetables, we're gonna be using a slice of gherkins, something which is related to our concept, so I'm gonna be putting a little pickled quail egg in beetroot brine, uh, some uh, sugar beet, fantastic, a little bit of English radish, which looks very nice, fantastic baby corn. Yellow zucchini, small pickle gherkin. So as you see, guys, it's a very healthy style of Bloody Mary. Fantastic. Olive, a little bit of carrot. Go. And cherry tomato in here. Fantastic. To activate a little bit the freshness of the herbs, you're gonna gently roast them. So eventually, once you approach the glass, you will have this beautiful uh, smell and feeling, you know. There you have it. This is our Bloody Mary. Please guys enjoy.